As the crow flies, the 2012 Makeover House is located about six hours from the Gulf Coast. It's Thursday, August 30th, and Tropical Storm Isaac is forecasted to move into our region around nightfall. Right now, we're experiencing about 20 mile an hour winds, and forecasters are warning us the wind gusts may reach about 30 to 40 when this thing finally arrives around this part of Arkansas. So as a precautionary measure, our crew is moving the remaining replacement windows inside the house. They're also securing our materials and other project equipment in anticipation of these high winds from the tropical storm. So as week two winds up for Makeover 2012, it was very productive. Our weather bar windows from Sw Fort Smith, Arkansas's Harry G. Bar Company arrived on Monday, and the guys didn't waste any time putting those things in the house. We got about half of those in, and uh, those very efficient windows replaced some very inefficient single pane glass windows. Uh, the weather bar vinyl frame windows are very energy efficient, they're Energy Star qualified, and they're also certified by the National Fenestration Rating Council. Not all windows are alike. So when you're looking at replacement windows, look for the NFRC sticker. The NFRC is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to provide fair, accurate, and reliable information about their products so you can make conscientious decisions. You'll note that our replacement windows have a U-factor of .30. U-factor is the inverse of our value, so we recommend low U-factor windows for the state of Arkansas. A low U-factor value equates to a higher R value. Furthermore, our windows also have a solar heat gain coefficient of 0.22. Solar heat gain refers to the sun's heat that radiates through and is emitted into the house. So we recommend a low solar heat gain coefficient for this region or climate within Arkansas. So if we were to replace windows in Minot, North Dakota, say for instance, we would want to use a high solar heat gain this would allow the sun's radiant heat into the house, and that's the last thing we want in Arkansas as we're trying to cool the house. So since Arkansans spend a great deal of their hard-earned money on cooling their homes rather than heating, we recommend a low solar heat gain coefficient. Another important component installed this week were the geothermal loops, who successfully installed four loops for the upcoming Water Furnace Envision geothermal system, which we hope to be installed next week. Total Service Company, led by Fred Danforth, punched in four 210-foot loops over a two-day period. Our makeover project will receive the most efficient heating and cooling system on the market today. My name is Fred Danforth, and I'm CEO for Total Service Company Incorporated out of Pontotoc, Mississippi. We do dedicated geothermal drilling, and uh, we have seven rigs, and we work 18 different states. But we work as far west as Texas, as far north as Indiana, and as far east as Virginia, and as far south as Tampa, Florida. There's all kinds of different kinds of drilling. We do geothermal, we do mud rotary drilling, and that is the type of drilling we're doing here, where you use water, you drill a hole, the water brings the cuttings up out of the ground and seals the hole up so you got time to put the pipe in. We also do air rotary. We have encountered a lot of stuff here. We were drilled through an aquifer that we couldn't, we fought for a day and a half getting it sealed up by putting bentonite, which is a high yield clay that swells up. We finally got the aquifer sealed up. We got the hole drilled and the next hole took us up an hour and a half to drill it. Now, all the drilling is different and it can change every 20 feet. Uh, you can drill a good hole here and move up 20 feet and it can go bad. Uh, Mr. Rood asked for 200 foot holes, four of them. We are drilling 206 foot is what, how much pipe we're putting in the ground. We're giving him six foot extra on each hole. The, if you do not, if you drill the hole, put the pipe in it, and you do not get it backfilled with grout, sand, whatever you're going to put in it. If you just put the pipe in the hole, it does not work. The pipe has to have something to transfer heat to. Backfilling the holes is more important than drilling the thing. So next week, we hope to complete the window installation process as well as finishing and trimming out the outside of the windows, as well as installing the water furnace uh, Envision geothermal system. So until then, have a great Labor Day weekend, and we'll see you after Isaac passes through.